In Cuba, doctors and nurses are heeding the call for help to fight Ebola. The communist island nation says it's sending 165 healthcare workers to West Africa, where the worst outbreak of the disease in history is raging. It's set to be the biggest commitment of personnel from any one country against the current outbreak. In Havana, Cubans welcomed the news and seemed to say the move was part of the national character. Even though we have few resources, it has always been the step in the right direction and has always been good to help, to help any person in the world in whatever country in the world that needs help, because in the end, we're all affected. We've always been taught to be caring, to face all of these things in a correct way and above all else with a very professional ethic. And to do the right thing, to help the rest of the world is very good. It's human. The help can't come soon enough. Cuba's announcement comes the same day the World Health Organization says the number of new Ebola cases is growing faster than authorities can handle. It's renewed its call for more health workers from around the world to go to the affected regions and help. Nearly 4,800 cases have been reported so far, and the death toll has risen to over 2,400. In badly hit Liberia, for example, a U.N. spokesperson describes the situation there as surreal, saying everywhere there's a sense that the virus is taking over the whole country.